Sorry about the fans, it's not stupid hot, but it's hot enough if I don't have them on, I'm going to get overheated. You don't want to get overheated when you do your workout. Today's October 29th, 2015, we're going to do some back arms and chest. And when you do back arms and chest properly, you're also going to work your lats, the back of your shoulders, your entire upper back. Because you're going to do some sort of pull-up type exercise. Even if you're laying on your back and just pulling up in between two chairs, you got to start somewhere. So again, it's just like a push-up. If you're only doing this, you're only doing this, you're only doing a partial exercise, you start somewhere, you build, start light, and you build up gradually over time, and you, over time, make the exercise much, much harder. So we got the beautiful blue 47 here, we can see. We got the beautiful 41 FL over there, we can see. So I've already written down in the book my exercises because I wanted to go pop, 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 pop right through it. So all I'm going to be doing is doing the exercise, writing down how many I did, and going. And I'm not going to bother writing it. It's already pre-written. So I dropped the bar over here down from uh, it was at 12. I dropped it down to I think uh, 10 is what it is. So I can still carry part of my weight. Now I'm probably strong enough to do a partial full pull-up, but I want to take the weight off so I can do it all the way and bring it to my chest. I'm not strong enough to do that properly and fully squeeze the muscles with full body weight yet. It's more important to me to do the exercise properly with its full range of motion. If I, most people, they do a chin up or a pull up, they're going to their neck. That's not how you do it. You gotta bring it all the way into the chest, bam. And there's two types, there's two basic types you do. Th these here don't do much. They really, really don't. I've done them this way, I've done them this way, I've done them that way, I've done them this way. I got hardly anything. What works is pull-ups here and pull-ups here. Not really wide, not really narrow, right here comfortable. Wherever your body's at where it's comfortable. And these ones, where it's comfortable, you're going to pull to the top of the chest. The top of the chest wants to hit the bar. And these ones here, changes everything, pull to the bottom of your chest. And you're working that chest like this, okay? When you get it right and you start to do it with full body weight, your, your chest is going to explode. And your back and your, and your lats are going to explode. It's going to go pow! But you got to get strong enough where you can do that. We're not, I'm not there yet. I will be there and you'll see exactly what I mean. I've been there, I've done it, I know. So watch what I'm doing. We're going to do the, the queen chair pull, uh, push ups, push ups on the uh, one side and the other side of the dip bar. Again, those are in two different positions, so it works the muscles differently. Now, the difference between a incline and a decline push-up is weight. It doesn't change anything else but weight. You need to work your hands like this and like this and like that, different positions to get the full stretch of your chest. But decline or incline, all that is is a weight issue. You're putting more weight on when you decline as opposed to incline. So there's no need at this present time where I'm at to start putting more weight on my push-ups. It, 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 you don't need it. So uh, dips, well guess what? We're gonna get us another dip bar like this. We're gonna alter it a little bit. And then I get strong enough, instead of doing decline push-ups, I'll actually be doing a, a push-up dip combination between the two on full body weight. And, and pulling my, the back of my body out like that. Been there and done it. And that, you, you just go right beyond decline push-ups. You just, you just leap right over. So we'll get there, we're not, we're not there yet. Give me another six months or a year. So, um, again, on these bars here, when I do these pull-ups here, I'm gonna be using my weight here, which tightens, it's gonna tighten up everything here, which, I'm going to be pulling my body into here into my chest. I'm going to get a picture of that so you can see it. I'm taking the weight off so I can do the full range of motion. So again, I'm on 10. I was on 12. I dropped this two here to make it a little harder. So we'll see how many of those I can get done. I'm going to do as many as I can within my 45 minutes and just go bam, 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 bam. And I won't be talking. I'll just be doing. That's what I'm talking now before I start. So watch, watch, watch the form. The form of how you do this is, again, you have to flex. You never lock out and you have to flex. At each motion, you 
flex and you flex. If you're not flexing, if you're just going like this and you're going for reps, you ain't getting nothing. You ain't getting no money. It's like having water in your hands. It just, what happened? I had, I had a cup of water and it's gone. You, you don't get anything. This is how you can get big and ripped safely without injury. Okay, there's such a thing as going too fast. You can go too fast and you're gonna create injury. How do you avoid injury? Especially when you're old and you're fat and you're weak, or you're young and you're fat and weak, or even young and skinny and weak, and you've never done anything. And you've never done anything, you've never accomplished anything. Every aspect of your body is completely weak and out of shape, and you've gotta bring everything up together. So I'm gonna be stretching as I go through my, my pull-ups, because you gotta stretch all this whole area so it'll grow. If you don't stretch your ligaments and your cartilage, none of that will grow. It's really important when you do this, when you eat your red meat, whether it's pork or otherwise, you eat the cartilage material. Even if it's just chicken, the cartilage material, that's the only way you get it in your diet. And you've got to eat that so your cartilage of your body can grow. If you don't expand your cartilage, guess what's gonna snap and your muscles get big? You're gonna pull it right out of the socket. I've seen it happen not just once or twice. Well, anyhow, for those wondering, that's a 41 FL, that's a first year FL. It's a one year only left case. Beautiful factory custom two tone. And the blue one behind us, that's a 47 last year FL. Factory original paint. It was encased in grease for decades by the original owner, which is why it's so nice. And the third owner of it, I found it uh, right about three years ago now. And it, it'll start running fire with battery and gas and oil. Boom, not a big deal. I don't have the need where I've got to ride this bike right now. Concentrating on this. This is more important. Getting my body in shape, getting my health in order. So one thing at a time. So anyhow, we get a little flexing here. I'm going to limber up. Real important, limber up. That's right. When you start your upper body work, always do some light push-ups first as a warm-up. Okay? Always, always, always. So it's uh, 3.08 p.m. I start. Again, you can see I've written it all down here. So I'm going to stop talking and start doing. And we begin. Watch, watch what I'm doing. I have to explain. Watch what I'm doing with my toes. When I bring that up, I make it a little harder, and I'm flexing the whole ab muscle. It's important to flex everything in the whole body when you do a complete body exercise. And when you're working out with body weight, that's what it is. You do it right. Try and keep these at sets of 10, regardless of which ones I'm doing. That's the idea.
10, 10 full body dips. I probably won't get 10 on the other sets, so that's okay. Still building that up. And as I get stronger, you actually, the dips, if you put your feet forward like this, it increases the weight. And then when you want to really increase the weight, you lean forward like this. But I gotta get two of these together. You gotta do that. And I ain't there. Here, bottom part of your chest. Those there, upper part. Real important. Well, I get strong enough, you'll see me pull all the way to the bottom of my chest for body weight. I am not there. But if you notice, I increase the weight by keeping my ass off the seat now. Makes a big difference. Just like working out with regular weights every 10 or 20 pounds, oh fuck. Oh my God, big difference. When you're using full body weight exercises, you can't tear up a two and three and four and five pounds. don't feel like that, every time you hit that, you're doing something wrong. Uh, I'm going to put this on the little counter here. We'll give me a glass of water, have about uh, one inch warm and the rest cold. 
Glass is on the stove. I'm getting uh, thirsty. Always keep your hydration up. I forgot to get me some. Come on. Put in there. There we go. So she's gonna give me some water. I'm gonna pick these pull-ups right here. I worked the entire range of the chest, entire range of your lats. Lats go all the way down here. Okay, I won't be able to work the bottom section, but I can hit stuff like this, full body weight. Just how it is. Remember, I'm still not at three months. Three months, the end of the month. This is 29th. We have two more days for the end of the month. So tomorrow we do shoulders and uh, go for right. The end of the month we'll do deadlifts. That'll be three months in. Once you've been doing this for six months, you're just starting. Six months is just starting. I'm only not quite halfway there, but just starting. In six months, you should notice a remarkable change in your body. Like, wow! With a bit of luck, by the time I hit, hit that, I'll be doing this full body weight, I hope.
We'll see how many reps I get in the dip. Whatever I do is what I do. As long as I hit five, I'll keep on going well. This is a stretch. Full body weight. That's good. Don't let yourself get dehydrated, don't get overheated. That's why we got these little fans on. I'm going to turn them up a little bit, give me a little more air in here. that was done in 18 minutes. Fat, 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 fat. That's how you gain. And now I gotta space out a little more so I can keep my reps out. Alright. So next time I'll just bring a few more and a little closer. way too long no more if you're really really weak than five minutes between a set that's your maximum time interval
what I've noticed in gyms, it's stupid fucking hard to find a place to do pull-ups. That's like going, I go to the gym, I can't find a place to do push-ups? Come on. It's such an integral part of a proper body exercise. You're gonna have to do pull-ups right, push-ups right. If you can't even do that, begin to do that, go home, man, lay off the cross-training. A few months ago, I had no lats at all. I had no back arms, I had no shoulders, I had no delts, I had nothing. We were still a couple days for three months. rep up over here, one rep over there, you're going to lose a rep over there, maybe a lot of reps over there. That's how it is. It's a tiered effect. period, 10 reps of a full body gap. That's an increase. 
Even if you only increase by half a rep, you increase every time. As long as you increase something, I don't care if it's a quarter rep, it's an increase. And it's going to build. Three sets of each, a 60 pull up. And at 335, we're still not 30 minutes into our exercises. So we get a whole 45 minutes in. If we don't, The easiest exercise I'm doing is those pull-ups there and this chair here. So if I cut out, I'm doing five or five, I'm good. These are much harder than this. Way harder. Seven sets of different push-ups. Two sets of full body dips. And six sets of uh, pull-ups, two different types. And I'm at my half hour. About 15 more minutes. 
soon as my body says, you know what, you're good. Which can happen. yesterday to see how I was ready to drop it. At 10, I can bring it all the way up. At 9, I couldn't. I'm going by that. These are markers. I dropped it down to 9. I couldn't touch my chest. That one inch made all the difference, man. Or two inches, whatever that is. I, could, I couldn't touch my chest. I couldn't do the full range of the, of the exercise. I was bringing it up to 10. I, I'm not there yet. chest action, not a bit, go home. you know, time of exercising. So, let's see what else we can get. off from the 10, but I wanted to see if I could get 10. I'm real happy. So, we'll leave that exercise alone until we build up more strength. Every time we come back and hit it, we'll do a little more. Like I said, even if you only do a half a rep, a quarter rep, it's good. You increase, you increase. Every time you increase, a quarter rep's fine. You increase it, baby. Don't hold back. I'm going to go over to these. Let's see how many of these I can Six and a half. 
10, 8, 6 and a half of those. But remember, like I said, I went to a much harder one of these, and I started out with say, six or seven full body dips I did the first time with 10. So that, I think the most I've ever done was eight in this three month period. So that's a massive increase. Right, like, massive? It's like, dude, I just used my whole body weight instead of a partial body weight, instead of just a push up. Massive increase. So in other words, I just dipped 175 pounds an extra two or three times. You think that's not an increase? What's wrong with you? Let's see. So we did. Let's see here. We did four of them, three of them. Now we're over to these push-up uh, pull-ups here. These here are actually a lot easier. See the height difference than that. So I only did six and a half of these. It was like six or six and a half of those before. After I do with these, I'm gonna go straight over to the chair and leave the rest of it alone. So I'm gonna go for the reps. Follow? Well, I'll build up more. Six. We've got uh, about seven minutes.
put it on, whatever we can get, and we'll call it good. Those last sets, those last reps, that's where you get your increase. past that 45 minutes and that should give me enough for one little set of them. So we're gonna see what we can do. body weight pull-ups, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Good workout. Whew. That'll 
again, I don't want to do full body weight on the pull-ups. You know, I'm going to do the full range of the exercise. I'll gain more. I'll gain faster. So, it's about how to maximize my gains where I'm happy with my body. Because I ain't doing it for nobody else but me. Now, the kindness of my heart, as a few people requested, I'm taking the time to show everybody else how to do this. And you can listen or not. Everybody thinks they know. It's all right. Don't matter. We had a boy over here yesterday selling a dishwasher. 20 years younger than me. Been doing cross training for a year and a half. I told him, don't do that, man. You're going to hurt yourself. Uh, we fling, fling him around and drop the weights. I says, that's dumb as fuck. You're going to hurt yourself. I ain't been doing it three months. My arm's twice the size of his. So who do you think's got something going? Me or him? we we'll listen. He knows. Good for him. Mm-hmm. All right. Daddy don't know nothing. All right. Yeah. Come see me in a year and a half, boy. You're going to look too. routine does for the body. I've been there before. I've done it before. I'm going to do it again. You ain't seen nothing yet. Six months is the warm-up period. After six months is when you get serious. You're only halfway into the warm-up period. At six months, your body's finally put enough muscle on to really can start increasing your gains. Doing the exercises harder. We I mean, not necessarily increase the weight, but the way you're doing it is harder. It's not always about the weight. The weight's an ego trip. Lay out the ego out of the gym. Or you're going to have a nice, expensive hospital visit. So, we're going to see if I can get old Brad tipping over. Do some dead dust with me. I'm gonna ask him how many times he's been in there. And again, you want your banana and potassium, you want to increase your blood sugar. Your blood sugar is stupid, that's important. You need that protein in your body to make the muscles grow. My banana's not as ripe as I like it to be. At least I got that potassium and good fruit sugar in me. The type of fruit sugar that's in a banana is the very best to increase your blood sugar in the right way, or as long as possible in the right way, to make your muscles grow when you put protein in, like I'm about to show you. So, again, this is royal jelly and cactus honey here. Um, any nutrients you put in your body are going to be slammed directly into your muscles, so this is the time to have this. And again, I'm going to increase my blood sugar count. You've got to hydrate your body. Keep it hydrated before, during, and especially after your workout. Your muscles are screen with the water and you're sweating it out real fast. Sweat, sweat. Don't have any fans on me in here. Okay. Now, take a little eggs 
and buy out so I don't drop them everywhere. I've been known to do that a couple times. So we did we just recently increased my egg count. More protein, more cholesterol, that magic cholesterol that's in these eggs. I don't know of anything that is so magical that it's natural. You put your body besides these. I really don't. That's why I really like video. We're going to make it soon. Maybe today. We'll see. So we'll pop these up a little fast. So we're at six eggs for a post workout meal. And then probably about a month. We'll increase it to seven. Like that. As I gain more muscle mass. It's an ascending scale. You gotta have the muscle mass to increase your egg. You increase your egg, you increase your muscle mass, and so on. But if I ever manage to get real big, I'll probably be down in three dozen eggs a day. Well, I, I ain't even close to sort of small yet. Let alone real big. Lots of ways in the future. these and make them warm. And we got our little sick egg, six little eggies there. here, the more of this will shrink down there. That's exactly what I want to have happen. The tummy will come in when it's ready. I ain't worried about it. Everything good time. This is a process. It's not a race against anybody else but myself. You have to understand your body's unique to you. Nobody's going to look like you but you. And you ain't chasing nobody else but what you want to see in the mirror. Bodybuilding is about building your body how you want it to look, not how everybody else thinks you should look. That's all it's about. It's a unique experience for you, yourself, and you alone. Okay, we've got it mixed up a little bit. Six raw eggs. It's your band. some spices in it, some pepper in it, some sauce in it, make it a smoothie, it don't matter. You just want them raw eggs. So they'll work better for you as raw eggs than anything else. Cooked egg destroys the protein. Especially the yolk. You can cook that egg white, it don't matter. Cook the egg yolk, you fucked up. That's this edition of Todd's Prison Workout. We will see you on the next video.